I, mean, I think you can look at my tattoos and it kind of tell it's, I mean, I feel like you can take your own depiction. I think it kind of tell, tells its own story between, the, you know, the flowers, my family, the, you know, the Native American stuff. Literally, I was, I was looking at tattoos and different style tattoos and I was already going to go all the way down to my fingernail and my fingertip. And I was like, you know what, I can do mini portraits if I find the right guy. And then through friends and friends in Arizona, I came across the right guy. And I was like, this is it, we're doing it. Gonna get a little Wayne portrait on my ring finger now. I already had the Jimmy done that everyone saw. And then uh, gonna get Darwin, Charles Darwin next to the planets and then uh, the Deathly Hallows. It's been a long time coming to really like think about the layout of my hand and really get it all kind of, I'm just now kind of piecing that together. I kind of got the filler idea, which is going to be like when I do the arrowhead and the native bead. I want kind of like the native bead to just run throughout so it looks almost like a, like a big native beaded blanket or something that you'd hang up that would be running through the background of this. A lot of this work is not all traditional style, but it's not super realism. And to add that realism aspect, even though there's a lot going on, because I have a lot going on obviously, the realism I think would pop and make these kind of even stand out on their own through the other colors and other things I want to do. I can look back and say there's some tattoos that like I probably shouldn't have got, there's some tattoos that whatever, but like at the end of the day there's a story, a meaning, but it's, it's either going to be funny or it's going to be an actual real good heartfelt story behind it.